We'll start uh, with uh, the head coach. Uh, what are your uh, expectations regarding to the tomorrow's uh, match? So, buenas tardes, en primer lugar. So, we start tomorrow, as you say, the, the first games of qualifications. The expectations, we know that will be a very tough game. We know the, the quality of, of all the teams in the group. Tomorrow we have to play against Mozambique and, and we know the, the potential of the, of the team. And we expect very tough game. Also, the first games always in qualifications are not easy because uh, sometimes it's the games that uh, uh, you are a little bit nervous because it's the first games and we have to try to control these situations because the, the game will be, I expect that the game will be very equal and we have to try to control all these situations. Buenas tardes, Mister. Buenas tardes. Será tu primer jogo com a seleção do Ruanda. O que é que pretendes atingir com esta seleção nesta qualificação? The question is, uh, this is the first match uh, yeah. of uh, uh, the coach with Rwanda. What uh, does he expect to achieve in this qualification? First of all, as you say, it's, a, it's my first game, so it's not. Uh, I need to to see also how how the players react. In general, I'm happy how how the players are are training. How is the the commitment of the players? I'm very happy. But one thing is the training, another thing is the is the games. So I have to to see how how they react in these situations. But I really trust the team and uh, what I expect. Like every coach to win, this is what we expect. It's simple. But this is a game, and only one team can win. So, uh, for sure, if you make the same question to the the Mozambique coach, he will answer you the same. So, thank you, uh, Mr. Coach. Do you have uh, any information about the squad of Mozambique? Uh, then, so then you can pick some players that you know how they play. You can share the news you have about the selection of Mozambique. Sure, this is part of, of our job to, to try to analyze the, the opponent. We know that the Mozambique changed the coach uh, a few months ago. We analyzed the last matches from, from Mozambique against uh, Ivory Coast, against Malawi, also the, the friendly matches against Mauritania, against Niger. So we are analyzing, but we, this is uh, part of, of our job. But for sure, we this is a national team. In a club, it's easy because you have uh, 20 players and it's always it's simple to analyze the opponent. In national teams, sometimes it's difficult because the list is over and sometimes can change the names of the players. And But now we know how players are in the club and we will try to, to, to play uh, thinking that uh, we analyze uh, Mozambique. But always, uh, until the game will not start, we will not be sure what, what can happen in the game. Sorry, but this information will be to my players tomorrow. If I give you this information, if you want, I can give you the lineup and what we expect. So, uh, how we will prepare the game is something that uh, we are working on. That, but it's not the moment to talk about how how we will prepare the game. This is, is our our information, and uh, we are planning to do after the last training some changes. And but it's everything what I can say to you. I can tell you nothing about how how we are preparing for tomorrow. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, when I talk about the environment, because these are kind of games that every player wants to play. And in most cases, everyone is always excited and motivated to have a chance to be in the field. So I guess it's easier for me to explain because when I talk about my teammates, they all want it so bad. So I think everyone is more excited to have this game tomorrow, whoever will have a chance. Uh, and 
linhas gerais, o capitão deixa ficar que o grupo encontra-se bastante motivado, porque este é um tipo de jogo em que todos os atletas gostariam de jogar. Portanto... I know that you know uh, the quality of Mozambican players. You played with Luis Nikisoni. I want to know that you do expect difficulties in the tomorrow match. Cheipa, but até bem gostaria de saber se há uma expectativa de. Yeah, like I said, this is not an easy game on both sides because. Like uh, if we played together for the last time, you know, every day is another day. And games change according to your approach to the opponent. But all in all, it's not an easy game. Mr. Captain, according to the preparation you have done, uh, do you think tomorrow with your comrades, I mean your, your neighbors' prayers, you will collect all three points? A pergunta é no sentido de saber se uh, amanhã o capitão, uh, em conjunto com os seus colegas de equipa, vai conseguir arrecadar os três pontos. Uh, to answer that question is so easy for me because in most cases, we as players, we give answers when we are in the field, not actually when you are outside of the field, because the end result, all everything will be done inside the field. We all cannot predict. Every team comes with one, 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 let me say, everyone, every team comes thinking of winning the game. But the end of the game tells all, so it will depend on the details that will make either side to win or as to have three points. Bem, uh, a resposta é que uh, 